Hello you guys, welcome back. So, today, here's the video where I'm going to introduce slope and y-intercept. So, we're going to be solving some problems where we're going to have to find the slope and y-intercept. But before that, I'm going to write out the formula up here so you guys can know how to solve for slope and y-intercept. So, the formula is y is equal to mx plus b. So, people might be wondering, what does this mean? Well, the b here, on the far right side, after the plus or the minus sign, this is going to be your y-intercept. And here, where your mx is going to be m, and x is going to be your slope. So we're going to use this formula and these key details to help us find out what are the slope and y-intercept for all of these equations provided to us. So, let's start with number 1. So, y is equal to negative 9x plus 15. So, we know that the y-intercept is at the far right after the plus. So, here, our y-intercept is going to be 15. Then, we have negative 9x. Here, where we have mx, is going to be our slope. So, here, this is going to be our slope, negative 9. Now, number 2 y is equal to negative 2x minus 18. So remember the y-intercept at the far right. Now, here's a thing you might not know. So there's a minus sign, right? When there's a plus sign, that means the y-intercept is, is positive. When there's a minus sign, that means the y-intercept is negative because um, if we were writing this as an equation, we ha might have have negative 18. And for us not to write y is equal to negative 2x plus, plus negative 18, they did it over and they wrote y is equal to negative 2x minus 18. So this whole number with the minus sign means that the y-intercept is negative 18. Now, we have the next one, the mx. Negative 2 is our slope. And if you have more questions about this, you can email me or ask your teacher. Whichever one comes first and easier to you. Now, let's solve number 3. y is equal to 3 fourth x minus 10. So this one is going to be the similar as this one. There's a minus sign here. So this is going to combine, and the y-intercept is going to be negative 10. Then the slope, we have the 3 fourth x. So our slope is going to be 3 over 4. Now let's look at number 4. y equals 6x plus 7 over 2. So this time, our y-intercept is positive with the plus sign, and our y-intercept is going to be 7 over 2. And then, we have our slope of 6x, which is just going to be 6. Now, numbers 5 and 6. So, we have y is equal to 7x plus 15. So, remember, this time it's positive since it has a plus sign. So, our y-intercept is going to be 15. And our 7x is going to be our slope, which, the, which we can just write 7. Now, number 6. y is equal to negative 4x plus 1 fourth. So, we have a plus sign here. So, this is going to be positive. So, our y-intercept is 1 over 4. And our slope is going to be negative 4x, which can be just negative 4. Now, let's solve the last two. So, y is equal to negative 14x minus 4 nines. So, remember, just like on this one, this one here, and 
this one, when we have a minus sign next to the y-intercept, is going to be mean that the y-intercept is negative. So, our y-intercept is going to be negative 5 over 9. y-intercept. And sorry if my camera is shaky. Now, we have negative 14x. That is going to be our slope, but we can just write negative 14. Now we have number 8. Y is equal to X minus 18. So, ooh. This is going to be a tricky one. So, we first are going to do the Y intercept, which again, we have a negative. I mean, a minus sign, so our Y intercept is going to be negative 18. And we have X by itself. So, most people do not include X because since there's no number, um, you know how to include it. Otherwise, X can be equal to 0 or can be equal to 1. But I believe this one should have been just written Y is equal to negative 18. At the slope. If you have any questions or uh, if you think I made a mistake, which everybody does, you can tell me in my email in the comments or you can ask your teacher or you can solve it by yourself. Okay, now we're going to do a last review of the um, formula so you guys can understand. So, y is equal to mx plus b. So, mx is going to be the slope and b is going to be the y intercept. So, b is the number after the plus or minus sign, just like this one, 15 plus, and the slope is going to be mx, so a, a, le a number, and the x, so 9x, negative 9x. So, and as I said again, if you um, ever come to these numbers where it says minus 10, um, it's not going to be 10 positive, it's going to be 10 negative. Because, as I showed you on the other one, they prefer to write it simple here on this side. They prefer to write it simple instead of doing y, e my, y negative 2x, y is equal to negative 2x plus negative 18. They prefer to do it y equals negative 2x minus 18. So, whenever you have a minus, it's going to be um, negative. If you have any questions, as I said, you can reach me or you can tell your teacher. Thank you and have a safe day. Bye and sorry for the um, moving camera.